Hello. Hello everyone, this is Comrade Sirius and welcome to episode 84, I think. Well, you'll see. You know the number. You can see, we are moving mes mes some machinery down to the bottom right corner. I placed them a depot right next to the sewage treatment plant because we need to do something with the terrain down he around here. There's also a refueling station, though it's not supplied right now. But I have I assigned it to this fuel distribution office, so once they find out how to fill it, once they have find time, they will do. In the meantime, it wasn't much, but I did some decorating stuff. Like you know, these fields. They have finally some alleys of poplars. I also planted using regular tools some tra some trees here and there and bushes. But this has been that weird cheat mode because there's the nine three line tool. You have seen it with me before, so shouldn't be too big of a surprise for you. But well, that's it for now. Also, we are currently having few ta few trains stuck because these locomotives are no longer getting it. You can see we are quite okay with money though to be fair besides open wagons we will need to do something else as well sadly we are not getting to better locomotives these days so i'm probably well not probably i'm doing you know few locomotives of this small class maybe like four of them also well it's not time to scrap them yet but we'll We'll get to it later on. Okay, so well, let me know when this one is done. Because, well, I can assign it. That's great. It's a one-way, it's a one-way station, but well, it would, it, would, it would be fun to have. So, well, let's build it and let me know when it's done. Not enough wardens. Yep, that's for Harlan. Then it pops here and there when, when you know those trains are. When the guards are switching, switch. Mm. I don't know what it's called. Sorry. Duties. Shifts. Yeah, shifts. Switching shifts. Also, the cistern export is getting close to be done. With a lot of cranes from Tarbat, especially. And tracks are coming closer to it as well. Let's take a look where the train will go. Because that might be quite interesting. It seems like it's working on the no on the left side. Okay, so let's assign the right side as well. Because that's definitely a thing we'll need. It is a potential for problems. But you can see related vehicle has popped up. And they will be able to cross over here. It's, it's okay. They should be able to, you know, miss themselves a bit. The problem is obviously, you know, the signal work that is done here. But not enough prisons in Brandywine as well. Okay, the prison is quite full. You know what? Just build that stuff. I don't care. Once it's done, let me know so I can supply it. Research program is done. So we can go for aluminum production. There's simply not, not a good reason to not have a, an additional prison, especially with Tarbat growing up. We have zero per zero persons with a, without their own flat. Which is nice. Because you, and you can see we have quite a lot of free spaces in, in the Tarbat city. And we will want even more. We will, want, we will want even more people to just be working here. So please be bear with please bear with me. Also, these guys are instructed when whenever they don't find they'll go they go to those those stops. If full, I may be able to just add this one as well. Just to split them. But there's not good enough reason. By the way, yeah, this is the triangular building from From the Cold War DLC. 
let's check one thing before we get to anything substantial how it's looking with nice this is a really nice thing i don't want to build these right away because that's quite a it's quite a thing to do these guys these things are getting built as well we are out of auto search reach out of reach of auto search so that's it pouring concrete yeah we need ouch we need pouring concrete face on these things i'm not sure if it, i'm not i don't think they can make it but we can try if they will be able then fine if they are not we'll find out anyway that is a long journey it would be nice to have the highway built first but well you can't have everything which sort of reminds me well we have time let them build it right away electricity problem on the pump jigs i i have been ignoring it but it's due to this power plant when it's not windy it's not working and this substation simply needs to be done assigned vehicles yeah bus is going for people so it will be built quite soon There's no need to be just you know there's no need to be worried about anything what i would also like to like to be like to build pretty soon is well basically all of this including this one for four you can send people there and there because that's too small and from Brandywine it's much closer than from Tarbat and Tarbat they are building those pump jigs so just split the service once it's done so we'll we'll do think something about it buying some steel probably again we're going to buy some some more stuff from this. If you if you take a look, we have diesel oco obviously. We have a tram. And we have some cargo wagons. We got box cars, we got hoppers, we get cement wagons, open wagons, tankers, and we need one more we need only one more thing. Waste cars. That's a thing we need to build. We need to buy and we need to buy it pretty soon we got basically two types of waste cargos these ones 10 meters for 18 tons this one for double double the size and only half half plus the length so we're definitely going for these guys yes it sets up the loco further away but defi we definitely need them build with random car sure they do not have much where either anyway and where are we what are we going to do with them just to be sure we'll export we'll about 10 wagons we can export fertilizer with them we will use them to track waste from here it's not too much too many of them but yeah, it is some we will also use them to process waste from this area to track all of this to separation it's not not too small i still think it will be need only one train but that one train is you know 14 wagons well 14 meters uh, 10 wagons is like 140 meters we'll use those small small piggies for it because we're already closing to 19, 19, 1990 so we won't electrify these branches what we will electrify eventually is the main branch the main line but that's all okay so go for i don't know like 20 this is 10 this is 20 okay who cares then as well we may add like 10 of these open wagons just to have something what are we what are we buying tourism import export wow import of resources yeah steel 
Still, it's a, it's a hella expensive. Electronics even more. That's definitely, I think, we want and need to export. But first, we need some power. That's what this is for. So, let's, let's once more pause the game. And let's go for, for all of this. First thing, let's smooth everything with this tool. Because the good thing is, it removes trees. And it removes some, you know, strange bumps that are omnipresent everywhere, like, you know, holes and bumps. The, this map has been created that way. As you can see, this is like a huge hole. Like, for no apparent reason. This map has been created using the old tools, so... Well, I do not blame the author. But now we have the smoothing tool. If he had... If he is creating more maps, which I'm... I'm not sure he does. But nowadays you can have much better maps, you know, with all this, all that erosion and all that and other stuff. And also the smoothing. It's available in sheet mode as well, so... Well, it's basically editor mode. Okay. We can have control lines on. Advanced industry, nuclear. Just do some basic math. And I will write it down because I keep keep on forgetting how good or bad those things are. So bear with me and off we go. Uranium mine produces daily per worker, which mines are to set up this this way. It does 0.75 ton a day times 1000 worker. It's 75 tons with 100% productivity. Then you have the uranium processing plant that can consume 36 tons a day and can put out 1.7 tons of uranium oxide. Not much, but it's all. But you can see with 100% productivity of the mine, you have three, three, you have three to one ratio that's a huge thing now you have now you have the uranium conversion plant that consumes some well it's a little bit of chemicals but that thing you know uranium conversion plant that thing consumes two tons a day which is more than one uranium processing plant and create per workday, so this is per day, produce 0 0.96 of UF6. And now, finally, nuclear fuel fabrication. That factory consumes, okay, an F. I'm just writing it down. Nuclear fuel consumes. 0 0.4 UF6, which is less than half of what this thing produces. 0 0.4 UF6 and is producing 0 0.095, basically 0 0.1, 0 0.0901 ton of nuclear fuel. Now bear with me, we need to export all of these as well, so we need to we need to be thinking about it. But how how to make it happen? What we can what we can do, or it would be advisable, is these two are a little little bit bottlenecking because we definitely need two uranium oxide processing plants to fuel to fuel the conversion plant 
to be able to run fully and still have something left. Nuclear fuel, fuel is easy. That we'll have just... We have one or two. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. But this thing we'll have definitely one. These things we can have... We can have two, but they are quite big, so... We'll see... We'll see how they how, how they will fit. And I would probably have it... I would probably like to have it in this general area. And yes, I may add a smaller city somewhere down here, because... It's a quite a stretch from far, but so we'll we will see. So two of these: one uranium conversion plant, two uranium processing plant, which means to have some uranium oxide left and uranium ore left, we need at least hundred percent. Well, at least seventy percent capacity. What do we have? We have one up here. That's around 40. 43, 44. This is probably the highest bitter anyway. Okay. Let's make it flat. Like our earth, you know. <laughs> I don't get the joke. I don't... I... Me either. Okay. This is a good trick, by the way. Just if you want to make flat plane, just follow contour lines and... Roads are good for it. Runways are better, but runways are big. That's... That's the general problem with it. Okay, we need... <laughs> problem, we need the plane a bit further out. Can we just raise the terrain a bit? I hope so. It will, it will be fun with roads anyway, so I'm I'm not too afraid of it. Okay, flatten it out. Okay, this is 44. Now it can it will need to output to put out the R itself. It can be on the left side because there is another mine here, so it, we can try to combine them into one conveyor. Conveyor has a capacity of like 600 ton when it transports one, only one resource, one type of resource, so it shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a problem. We also need to get trash out of it. That's why the road is there and we'll need to get people. People are the biggest... The biggest problem, we can as well just build a tram line up to those mines. Probably a good idea. But we'll work with what we have. This is 44. Now this is 23. Because the mine, the mine is huge. We can try to optimize a bit. This is 44 plus 24. The best we can do with this with this thing is 68 then. Well, not great, not terrible. But fits the setup. Okay, so when we turn this thing around to make it 40, what can we do from this? 33? Oh, it's much better. 33 is much better. Because then it's 73 all, in altogether. It's 5% more. Just for the same side. Yeah, I'm in. I'm totally in. Okay. The fun part will be to get the road down there. To definitely be a project to project to look into but that's the that's what the fun is about right well speaking of conveyor engines and how to put it together can we just
Well, we probably cannot... Well, we can mix both of these. I'll just mirror it so it so it is actually buildable. And now it's not buildable. Fuck. He doesn't like me. It's understandable, but still annoying. Okay, and it didn't build any of those, but they are still placeable, so that's all right. Funny thing will be about roads, but the road will probably need to go down around here some somehow. We'll make it. Now this thing needs to lead into into the processing thing. I told we need two of these. How are they looking? They have one in, one out. They have uranium oxide. Uranium oxide is an open storage. This is bulk. Uranium oxide is an open storage. So we technically can build and place them in a way that are Are working that are workable with we can just make it a little bit more a little bit more flat which I don't know how much flat do I want them okay let's make it a little easier let's use this step yeah that's it Now, please. I don't care, it's gonna lift off. Let's please terraform that shit. Yeah, this is exactly what I need. Well, just without the... <laughs> without the taxiway, please. Okay. Now the second step. We need... Access, and we need to feel fuel this and the uranium oxide. How? Well, first we need to get rid of, and we need a way to export excess, excess uranium oxide. What I will do is that I will use this overpass, so we have a, basically a free plane to play to play with. Uh, this, this is what I wanted. Again, design it. I'm designing it already with exports in mind. What types of sm small storages do we have? Open storage, small. For uranium oxide, this is basically enough. We do not need. We did not need to store more than 200 tons. we'll need to is to make all of this working so let's start from the edge I'm trying to join them so they have one one storage that's good for both of those roads and other stuff I will do later once once it's a little bit soft open storage small Yep, factory connections, so we need we need something like this. Yep. Smallest loop possible. Easy. Yes, it needs trash cans and so on. 
that will come on late that will come later although the thing needs a route connection it would be good not it would be good not to not to forget about it what it is by the way on where are we on the map <laughs> it's basically moria <laughs> Well, no, Moria is up here. I don't know what mines are down here. I don't care. If you have a suggestion for a name, please post it. I may rename it. So now we need one UFC, UF6 factory, which is this uranium conversion plant. Now we can have a loading facility for excess excess uranium ore which will we have we will have it probably somewhere down here now i need to think about excessive uranium oxide that can be tracked it's not a problem it will be tracked anyway it will be tracked away so it will just fill the building itself. How big is the building, by the way? It it processes 42 tons of uranium oxide. Well, it consumes, sorry. It consumes two tons a day and has a storage of 42 tons. That's 21 days. That's enough. And we can also, it it seems that we can also just, you know, connect it right away and track access with trucks. Genuine. It's not a problem. To be fair, let's take a look what we need else, what we need otherwise. On the other hand, it has three stations for vehicle loading and unloading, so yeah. We can just place it at, on another step in this in this whole area and call it a day. Because there's nothing else that needs to be done. And yes, I will do the row I will do those roads probably afterwards. Because we won't need it. We don't need to do it right now. We can just make it look okay. Work with it and worry about other stuff later. Although, once these are sort of done, you can just, you know, raise the terrain around it a little bit. It will influence those buildings, but only a little bit. And the new press, what is it? Terrain smooth. And you'll smooth it around and the the area will look okay. Added. And now the rest. Now the rest of the chain. I told we will need two nuclear fuel fabrications and those are biggies. Those are big things. And also, there was supposed to be a <laughs> some, type, some type of highway junction, so maybe not die. Not, not delve too much into it at the moment. Yeah, by the way, how do I want to get tracks here? Well, that's the job for another day. They are doable, just I'm just not thinking about it right now. But I want, I, I want them, so we'll, we'll find a way, don't worry. In the rules, it is stated that it would be nice to hold the overall terrain, which is definitely something we can do, because by doing this, you can see it's raising up and down. Yeah. So, we, so I'll be having an area around. That will be able to work with. We dig down. We'll we'll need 
We'll dig a little bit down, a little bit up. Nothing too bad or too drastic. Just having a space to work with. This thing, uranium conversion plant produces UF6. Those are containers, by the way. So from now on, we are working with things that are no longer distribution office accessible. Think about it. Now, yes, nuclear fuel fabrication produces nuclear fuel, which is also containers. Those are containers. So it means again, no, no way of, you know, doing anything with them. Both of those have quite a large storage. Like well, nuclear fuel fabrication is ten days, ten day supplies. Although in terms of output, it's laughable. Those those containers are small. They do not. <laughs> They weigh like 0 0.04 tons, one, one of those, so, well, it's okay. What I would like to do, what I would like to make with them, is to have two of these factories and just build them in a way we can connect both of them with one loading station. Okay, can I use this line or, well, maybe use, maybe use the edge as a baseline. So this is one of those. It is absolutely, yeah, it is absolutely stupid, you know, ways out. But we can still put a route behind if we need to. Now a loading station. If I will find the, yeah, maybe the biggest one I can find. It's, it doesn't feel like it, like an overkill. Uh, the reason it doesn't feel bad is that we'll need some trucks parked there. That station needs at least one slot. To be, to be, um, yeah, four are okay. Four should be okay, but they are basically the same size. Like, it's not a difference at all. It's laughable. So, let's have it here. We'll have to park there one truck with UF6, like a full line. Then the other one will just go all the time. So, that's okay. Maybe even one track with chemicals, just a direct line, so we do not, so we do not need to bother the distribution office. Yep, that's okay. So now the second, second factory. Yeah, if it's if it's doable like this, I'm, I'm okay with it. If we turn it around, it is doable as well. It doesn't show what it is. Yeah, 55 meters is okay. Maximum length is like 70, I think. I do not need map. So this is the basic basic area to connect. Yes, all of these do produce hazardous waste, nuclear fuel, uranium conversion plant, and uranium processing plant. All of them do produce hazardous waste. The only one that does not is, is, is the uranium mine. Basically, they are all, all of them are reason this thing is here. Incinerator containers. We will not separate any of the waste that's down here. We will track all of it, all of it into these containers. There will be people working that will go through it, and then trains will get disposed of it. That's why we have two two trains because once this will be too 
too full to train for trains to be processed and yes we will run those slow train slow trains on it and they will be tracked all the way to to Harlinden. By the way, why are we having so much people? Yeah, because we so much waste. Probably can increase this count a little bit. Because there's a lot of a lot of waste coming coming this way. And it will be only worse. Yep, so that's the plan. That's the plan for all of it. From here there will be there will be set up a line that will go somewhere, probably to the city. I'm not doing it here. But nuclear power plant. Well, single reactor, double reactor, I don't know. We can do even the twin reactor. It has, uh, it has quite quite a small pollution. So yeah, Iragian Forge is definitely <laughs> feels definitely like a good like a good spot for it. The city will get into another episode. How bad is yeah seventeen twenty six tons? Okay. Let's keep something like a kilometer, 800 meters, yeah, sure. This is enough. This is the line. We cannot have city anywhere near. We can have the, we can have the, the crossroad, the highway crossroad. Where we'll take the highway? That's a good question. I want... I want to get it into Rohan because there should be an oil somewhere. Now it's quite far, but if we will be tracking oil to refinery, this is the way. This is the way that will go. This is the way that will go in. So that's that's where we start. And yes, I will keep it. In the same, in the same general height. Is this the furthest I can go? Yeah, this is the furthest I can go. So, yeah. So that's the furthest we will go. If it's ain't too, too big of an incline. Don't take it seriously, just slowly raise it. It will hold itself. Now make it a little wider. And I'm about to think what type of what type of highway crossroad we will use. Yes, obviously I have no idea. I haven't planned this. I haven't planned this up front. Is this not looking good? Eh, it could be. It could be more straight. Well, I'll call it a pride highway. It would be anything but straight. Or we can diverge it, obviously. Can we? I can smooth that out. It's not a problem. This is what we'll do. It's looking much better. 
Okay, so what do we want? Do we want anything to do? Well, there's a bauxite down here. There's bauxite up here as well. There's iron. And there's coal. Iron seems fine. Would be... It would be really nice to be able to do it. Do it and mine it, but I'm not sure we can. Metallurgy? Yeah. Yeah. Power worker is 4 tons. This thing 100% can do a thousand tons. Thousand tons of iron ore. With 100%, which is obviously nothing close that we are able to do here. Like, at all. If I will stretch it a bit, we can do 20%. It's not a good quality at all. But to be fair, 20%? Tw what? 24? Yeah. yeah, this is like 25. That's 250 tons. Because it's a quarter. 250 tons of ore. That's more than two. No, that's one. Ore processing plant. So we basically, to fully sustain a steel mill, we need 200 tons of iron. Which means two of... It's basically two of these. And that's 450 tons. So we need a 45% together. So either we are building a mine up up the mountain. We can do. We can build an Isengard here because that's basically the location where it is. And you know, we can have an Isengard and just export anything we can. It's a good it's a good idea. That's what we'll I will do it. Uh, I will try to do it. it will, I will do it between episodes. I will try to take a look into it. Because yes, I will need to bring here bulldozers and all that all that jazz. And now I need... But that's not for today. Today I wanted to discuss the last thing. And that's the highway crossing. What I think is that we do not need a crossing this way. Though we might need to. But what I would like to have is to have a connection to the city. So what we will do is to is to resort to basically a double trumpet if needed. What is a double trumpet? You can see it on my channel if you take if you look into Highway Crossroad. You can use Google for it. That will provide probably a good enough answer as well. Because that's that's what I can use for sources. Outside my education as well. And what we will do is I will just, uh, just have one connection this way, one the other way, turn this up, then turn this under, which you can see we are having, and I will try to put a tunnel through here. Is it high enough? It is high enough. We will basically trump it with tunnel. That's allowed. Well, let's do it. We have time. What I do not like about the game tunnels is the absurd length of portals. I do understand that when you're building a tunnel in something like this, you need to have it buried in the terrain. What I like more is to just, you know, 
because something like a small small residence or even the medium one they are probably the best for it well don't go too eagerly because otherwise you end you end up with crazy stuff like what I already make definitely a definitely an option I do not want to delve into And by the way, there should be some connect, some type of line connection as well. So, just don't dig too eagerly into anything. So, uh, yeah, a house. Yeah, make it steep. Okay, a straight connection. This is what I like. Now try the other way. And this is what I like. See? Looks, looks better, at least in my opinion. You don't need to share the opinion, but this is my web, so I build based on what I feel, what I, what I feel appropriate, and the rest, the rest you know, it's just as easy as anything else. So this is it. Now we split those lanes. So one direction is. This one. Make those vehicles able to pick up speed. Now F4. And slightly turn it in. Till we get almost the half. Then F4. Yep, yeah, this, this is okay. This feels alright. Maybe too long, but well, who cares? Definitely not me not me now. Yeah, decelera deceleration and F4. So it so it is able to turn. Uh, this is all this is this is all right as well turn it right away so it's doable and and it's okay for the, for the side and this is the way down now we need way out on the other side it will be on on this block we'll just make it wider it will take some time a little steep, not not too steep. We can probably make it even, you know, higher. Right here, I would like to, you know what? Let's make a roundabout because though they work really nice in this game. So, a, so a classic way to make a roundabout. circle of this type yeah we we can have them connected and con connect like this you can also split we can also split it and just you know go for the more s go for the smooth go for smoother curves exactly as you see it's up to you it's up to you what you feel like Now we need to make the outside a little wider. 
and then smooth it up because the smoothing up will bring it back a little bit so we need a better starting point and this is definitely n n not anything not something you want from from the highway off ramp So, okay. Yeah, you can see I'm recording those episodes back to back, so that's why the previous number is there. Do I even need to connect them into one? It would probably be better to do so. So it's probably not needed yeah, this one is definitely too long but it sometimes happens like when you don't know how long it, how long it will turn out you just go for the bigger one and then and it's like ah, oh, I don't want it So one, two. Can I make it symmetrical? Do I want? I don't know if I want, but I can try. I try too much. Oh, wait. <laughs> the game doesn't. Game doesn't like it. Some other infrastructure is in the way. Ah, it's not good. Try again. Oh, that was too much times, too many times F4. Yeah, this is this is the thing I want. But so that's that's all for today. This is the this is the basis for our new new better and greater crossroad. I will let them build it. I will connect the rest of roads. This these ones will also be you know gravel ones. And I almost feel like, yeah, they have already finished these guys. So you know what? Let's make these two first as well. For free, go for it. And at the end of the episode, we will make one way from all of this highway. Because now we can. Here is a crossover plate. I underlined it just for with the asphalt square, which is what you can do. It's looking better. This is for construction vehicles. I cannot use it. Yeah, probably too long. Okay, you cannot drag it infinitely. Good to know. Well, that's it. It's, a been, it's been a lot of planning, but personally that's the thing I like. If you don't want to see it too much, just well, let me know. I can plan and show. But, well... That's all, that's all I got for you today. Can we export the bitumen, by the way? I almost feel like we can. And it almost feels like we should. But we got more important stuff to do. So, see you. Maybe in the summer. I don't know. Bye bye.